Today's lesson is the most dangerous game. Hi, everybody. My name is Roger, and my name is Kiki. And today we're going to continue talking about our featured story for this month, the most dangerous game. And that game, of course, is referring to the act of hunting another human being. It's quite radical to do that. Of course, it's illegal. But this story is about a millionaire who lived in a mansion and was free to do that, especially if he lived on an island and the police would not be able to find him there. Right, and we know that our main character Sanger Rainsford, he himself was a big game hunter, so he loved hunting too. So to become the hunty, that's really weird, huh? It is indeed. So he's going to be the prey, and Zaroff is going to be the predator. And that's where we left off last time. Of course, Zaroff here told Rainsford that he likes to hunt sailors that are shipwrecked on his island. He's shocked by that revelation, but still, he needs to be hunted here, and so he's going to have to survive and maybe even turn the tables on Zaroff there. So let's find out what happens next in our story. Let's begin. In today's lesson by listening to the first part, and then we'll come back to discuss it. During his head start, Rainsford laid a winding track through the forest to lead Zaroff to a dead end, and then climbed a tree to hide. But his sense of safety did not last long. Glancing down, Rainsford was horrified to discover that the general had easily found his location. Rather than ending the hunt then and there, though. Zaroff had chosen to toy with Rainsford as a cat plays with a mouse. 大家好，第一部分我们可以看到形容词 winding， 它指的是蜿蜒的或是盘旋的。例如 ，You have to drive two hours on winding roads in order to get to Jack's cottage. 你得在蜿蜒的道路上开两小时的车才能到达 Jack 的小屋。或者 ，Anna followed the winding path to the entrance of the cave. Anna 沿着曲折小径来到了洞穴入口。接下来我们看到动词 horrify， 意思是使感到震惊或是使恐惧。在课文中，这个字是过去分词当形容词用，表示极为震惊的。举例来说 ，Al was horrified at the movie's violent ending. Al 对电影的暴力结局感到非常震惊。又或者说。The idea of being stuck in a broken elevator horrifies Rebecca. 困在故障电梯里的想法让 Rebecca 感到很害怕。另外，补充这个字的相关形容词 horrible, h o r r i b l e, horrible. 它的意思是糟糕的或是十分不好的。例如 ，Sorry for stepping on your toes. My dancing is horrible. 很抱歉踩到你的脚，我的舞技很糟糕。再举一个例子。Tina has a feeling that something horrible is about to happen. Tina 有预感，即将发生不好的事情。Okay, now remember, General Zaroff gave Rainsford a head start. Of three hours, right, and he was also given some food, clothing, and a knife. And during his head start, Rainsford, he laid a winding track through the forest to lead Zaroff to a dead end, and then climbed a tree to hide. Exactly. So again, Rainsford had a head start, and I guess he thought he was pretty smart there, having hunted animals before. So he wound through the forest. He、uh, laid a winding track through the forest to lead Zaroff to a dead end.、Uh, he's kind of like、uh, you know setting a red herring there. I guess、uh, a red herring is when you try to distract someone's attention by talking about something else. In this particular case, he tried to distract Zaroff by winding a track through the forest, which hopefully would lead Zaroff to a dead end. A dead end, of course, is when the road ends and you can't go any further. You have no choice but to turn around. Round and try again on another street, and so here, of course, he was trying to outsmart the general. But、uh, we find out later that Zaroff was one step ahead of Rainsford there. But also, Rainsford climbed a tree to hide. Okay, he went up in a tree, thinking that Zaroff would not think to look up in the tree for him. 
Right. But you'd think that Zaroff has had lots of experience and probably the tree is the first place somebody hides. So his sense of safety didn't last very long because as he looked down the tree, Rainsford was horrified to discover that the general had easily found his location. So Rainsford, he was horrified. He was so scared. He was really shocked. Oh, how did Zara find me so fast already? Indeed. So his sense of safety did not last long because he looked down and there was the general who had found him easily. He was horrified. He was really scared. My goodness, what is he doing there? I thought I outsmarted him, but he was able to find me rather quickly. And rather than ending the hunt then and there, though, Zaroff had chosen to toy with Rainsford as a cat plays with a mouse. So then and there just means right in that situation, not waiting for another time or place, he decided to toy with him then and there instead of ending the hunt there right there. He could have just shot him between the eyes and the hunt would have been over, but he decided to toy with Rainsford instead. If you toy with somebody, you kind of play with them for a while, even though you have defeated them and you could easily finish them off, you decide to make them suffer mentally by toying with them. And we do give an example here. A cat sometimes plays with a mouse. I've seen this happen before. Cats sometimes catch a mouse, but they don't actually kill it and eat it right away. They kind of whap it around a little bit and they wait for the mouse to try to escape. And when the mouse tries to escape, the cat whaps it again. And it just keeps doing this as if it's some sort of game. Right. And I think right now we can tell that General Zaroff, he is getting a little cocky. He's getting too confident because he feels like, oh, that was too easy. I found Rainsford too easily. So that's why he wants to toy with him. So he's being cocky. And what happens after you play with something? Sometimes it might get away from you, right? Right. And of course, it's all about the hunt here. Maybe it was too easy for the general to find Rainsford that fast. So he decided to make it more challenging by toying with Rainsford so that maybe it will be more challenging to hunt him later on. OK, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson for today. Let's listen to the next part and find out what happens next. After signaling his intent, Zaroff departed and Rainsford set about building a series of deadly traps determined to ensure his own survival. The traps were effective, killing Zaroff's servant and a hunting dog and wounding the general himself. But Zaroff soon cornered Rainsford on a cliff overlooking the ocean and Rainsford threw himself over the edge in desperation. Disappointed that Rainsford had ruined the game by choosing suicide, Zaroff returned home. 第二部分我们看到单字 series 它是名词指的是一系列或是一连串例如 The writer published a series of detective novels 该作者出版了一系列的侦探小说或是 A series of unexpected problems caused the event to be postponed 一连串意想不到的问题导致该活动被延期接下来我们看到动词 ensure 它的意思是确保或是保证 例如, the delivery company did all that it could to ensure the package arrived on time. 快递公司尽其所能确保包裹能准时送达。又或者说, Max uses a complex password to ensure that nobody can access his account. Max使用复杂的密码,以确保没有人可以存取他的账号。再来我们看到单字, ruin, 它是动词,意思是毁坏或是破坏。举例来说, the temple was totally ruined after the earthquake. 那座寺庙在地震后全毁了。又或者说, Years of drinking ruined Jason's life. 许久多年毁了Jason的人生。另外,这个字也可以当作名词,指的是遗址或是废墟。例如, The city was once a major seat of power, but now it's nothing more than ruins. 这个城市曾是主要的权力中心。但如今只不过是废墟。
Okay, so here we begin by saying, after signaling his intent, Zaroff departed, and Rainsford set about building a series of deadly traps, determined to ensure his own survival. So here, Zaroff decided that he would give Rainsford another chance. So he signaled his intent. So here, to signal just means to indicate or to communicate your intent, and your intent. Just describes what you want to do. So he let Rainsford know what he was planning to do. He wasn't going to shoot him right then and there. He was going to give him another chance. So then Zaroff departed, I guess, to give Rainsford another head start. But then Rainsford realized that he was in trouble. He was in a bit of a pickle. So he set about building a series of deadly traps. If you set about doing something, you start to do that thing. You make plans. You prepare, and then you carry this mission out, or you do what you want to do. And he's building a series of deadly traps, not just one, but maybe two, three, five. Or whatever, it's a series of traps, and a trap, of course, is designed to actually trap someone to catch them so they can't get away. Sometimes, if you're hunting, you could use a rifle or a shotgun, but you also might use a trap. Where the animal goes inside the trap, and then the door closes, and then you have the animal trapped. So Rainsford, he was really determined to ensure his own survival. So he really believed that by creating this series of deadly traps, he would be able to survive. So he was determined to make sure that he makes these traps, and it will. Make sure that he will survive. That Zaroff would not be able to hunt him, and maybe the traps might even hurt or kill Zaroff. So determined to is to really make up your mind to do something. So he's really made up his mind. He really wants to make sure that he survives. He wants to make sure that nothing bad happens to him. And in this case, ensure is also to make sure something happens. So he wants to make sure that he lives. He wants to make sure that he doesn't get hunted by Zaroff. So he was determined to survive. Exactly. So he set up a series of traps, and they were designed to catch Zaroff or his assistant. And I guess those traps were successful. It says the traps were effective, killing Zaroff's servant and a hunting dog, and wounding the general himself. So he did set up those traps, and they were effective. They did what they were supposed to do, at least to a certain extent. One of the traps killed Zaroff's servant, and then a Hunting dog got killed as well, and then the general was wounded himself. To wound means to injure somebody, especially if you're hunting somebody or if you're trying to kill them in war. But Zaroff soon cornered Rainsford on a cliff overlooking the ocean, and Rainsford threw himself over the edge in desperation. So even though the general was wounded, he was still able to move around and continue to chase Rainsford. He chased him and cornered him to a cliff. To corner somebody is to chase somebody until they have nowhere else to run. And in this case, he chased Rainsford to a cliff. And a cliff is usually a piece of land that is very steep on the side. Usually, it's by the sea, but there are also cliffs in the mountains as well. So, in this case, the cliff was overlooking the ocean. So it just goes steep down, straight into the ocean. And Zaroff corners Rainsford there. And at that point, Rainsford decides the only thing I can do now is to jump over the cliff and into the ocean. So Rainsford threw himself over the edge in desperation. So he was really desperate. Okay, he had no other choice. And in This case, desperation is a noun, so he only has one thing left to do. He doesn't have other options. He can only jump off the cliff. Right. I guess he could have surrendered. He could have said, "Well, okay, you caught me. You win. I lose." But of course, the general would probably have shot him there, and he doesn't want that. So he had no other choice. He threw himself over the edge of the cliff in desperation. He had no other choice. He had no other option. And disappointed that Rainsford had ruined the game by choosing suicide, Zaroff returned home. Of course, Zaroff would have really loved to have shot Rainsford right then and there. 
there. Maybe he would have toyed with him a little bit. Maybe he would have tortured him a little bit or played with his mind or whatever. But he was disappointed that Rainsford actually committed suicide. At least that's what he assumed Rainsford had done. He had thrown himself over the cliff. He jumped off the cliff. And as a result, that ruined the game. If you ruin something, you totally wreck it. It's no longer in the ideal condition. And of course, sometimes this happens. Somebody might ruin something of yours because they dropped it on the floor or they scratched it or something. Maybe you have an expensive watch and somebody scratched the uh, glass on it. Oh, you ruined my watch. Now it's not valuable anymore. Sometimes your mood can also be ruined by someone or something. So in this case, Rainsford, he really ruined Zaroff's mood because he chose the easy way out by jumping off the cliff. So that really ruins his mood. He doesn't want to play anymore. He has nothing to play with, so he's just going to go home now. And that's the end of part two of today's story. So let's continue and listen to part three. That night, when Zaroff returned to his bedroom, Rainsford was waiting. He had swum around the coast and hidden in the mansion. Zaroff congratulated him for winning the game, but Rainsford was not satisfied. He had been treated like prey, and now he had become the hunter. After a deadly struggle, Rainsford lay on the floor panting. He had proven that man is indeed the most dangerous game. 最后第三部分，我们看到动词 congratulate， 它的意思是恭喜或是向点点点祝贺、称赞，像是 The coach congratulated me for winning the gold medal. 教练恭贺我赢得金牌。也可以说 Brandon's friends congratulated him for passing the final exam. Brandon 的朋友们恭喜他通过了期末考试。Okay, here's part three of our summary today. We're going to finish up the story here. Remember, General Zaroff was not able to shoot Rainsford because Rainsford chose to jump off the cliff and to commit suicide. Apparently, he committed suicide, but maybe he survived. We don't really know yet. And that night, when Zaroff returned to his bedroom, Rainsford was waiting. So Rainsford did not actually die as a result of jumping off the cliff. He. Survived and managed to come back to Zaroff's house. He was waiting for Zaroff, and here's what happened: Rainsford had swum around the coast and hidden in the mansion. So he survived his jump off the cliff. He landed in the ocean, and then he was able to swim around the coast. And then he got on the shore and found his way to the mansion, and he hid there waiting for Zaroff. Then Zaroff congratulated him for winning the game, but Rainsford was not satisfied. So the general he said, "Hey, good job! Congratulations! You should be happy that you won." But Rainsford he felt like, "No, it's not fair. Everything that you put me through, it was so painful." So what did he do, Roger? Well, what did he do here? He had been treated like prey, and now he had become the hunter. And after a deadly struggle, Rainsford lay on the floor panting. He had proven that man is indeed the most dangerous game. Okay, or the most dangerous thing to try to hunt. So that's what happened at the end of the story here. <sighs> That's if you're panting, especially if you're tired. Dogs will pant in hot weather because they have no way to get rid of the heat in their bodies. They have to pant and have the cool air go over their tongues. So here, Rainsford lay on the floor. He was laying on the floor and he was panting, and he had proven that this was the most dangerous game. And hopefully, they don't try to do this again, or hopefully, nobody in the world does this because it is rather sick to think of doing such a thing. Okay, that brings us to the end of. Our explanation for today. Let's now listen to Hanny. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, I'm Hanny. We're looking at today's grammar point. The first sentence in the last paragraph states that rather than ending the hunt then and there, though. Zaroff had chosen to toy with Rainsford as a cat plays with a mouse. 不过 Zaroff 并未当场结束狩猎，而是选择玩弄 Rainsford， 就像猫玩弄老鼠一样。
。好，这边有三个重点。第一个是 rather than 的用法。Rather than 什么什么是表达说是什么什么而不是什么什么。那么在课文里面呢 ，rather than 是当介系词，意思就相当于 instead of， 后面要接名词或动名词。那这个名词或动名词就是。被替代的事物，没有选用的事物喽。好，举例来说 ，Rather than taking the elevator, he chose to climb the stairs. 他没有搭电梯，而是选择爬楼梯。好，那另外 ，Rather than 也可以当连接词，意思就相当于 and not。这时候呢，它必须去连接词性相同的字词。举例来说 ，I prefer to read paper books. Rather than e-books, 我比较喜欢看纸本书而非电子书。好，那特别注意，如果是用 rather than 去连接不定词 to v 的话 ，rather than 后面那个 to v 的那个 to 呢，常常会省略。像 they decided to walk home rather than take a taxi， 他们决定走路回家，而不是搭计程车。那这边我们是去连接 to walk home 跟 to take a taxi， 只是这个 take a taxi 前面的 to 被省略了。好，那这边也补充一下 ，would rather A than B 的用法。would rather 它表示说宁愿怎么样，宁可怎么样，比较想要什么什么。那这个 would 常常会跟主格人称代名词把它缩写成撇低，像我们说 I'd rather, we'd rather 等等。好，那现在我们用 would rather A than B 就可以表达宁可要 A 而不是要 B。其中的 A 和 B 要用原形动词表达哦，例如。He'd rather go camping than stay at a five-star hotel. 他宁可去露营而不要住五星级饭店。好，再我们看到第二个重点是 then and there。字面意思是那时和那里，那用来表达当场立刻的意思，也可以写作 there and then。那么意思呢，其实就跟 at once, at the exact moment, on the spot, in a flash。In an instant, 等等差不多。举例来说 ，She accepted the job offer then and there. 她当场就接受那一份工作职务了。在第三个要介绍的重点是 toy 当名词，我们知道有玩具的意思。不过在课文里面是当动词去表达玩弄、戏弄。那么用法是 toy with somebody or something。像我们说 toy with one's feelings， 就可以表达玩弄某人的情感。好，另外补充一下 ，toy with something 还可以表达不太认真的考虑某事。这通常是指说可能短暂啊，没有很认真的去想。举例来说。He has toyed with the idea of getting a tattoo once or twice. 他曾经有一两次有动过刺青的念头，可是没有很认真去考虑这件事啦。好，那么以上今天重点整理，我们回顾这些单词吧。Horrify. The employees were horrified to learn that the company would soon shut down. Intent. It wasn't my intent to scare you, Hilda said after surprising Ada in the kitchen. Series. The island suffered a series of natural disasters over the past year. Ensure. The police failed to ensure that the witness was kept safe. Cliff. Andre dared Danny to dive from the cliff into the waters below. Desperation. After losing her job and home, Sylvia had a feeling of desperation. Ruin. Jarvis ruined the cake by baking it for too long. Congratulate. The principal congratulated each of the graduating students. Discussion starter starts now. Okay, now it's time for our discussion starter for today. And here's the question: Do you think you could survive a deadly game like the one in the most dangerous game? Why or why not? Well, I think this is a really philosophical question because it really shows how much one person wants to survive. For myself, I think I would really want to survive, but to have to be put through all these different obstacles, having to run through the woods, having to create these traps—first of all, I wouldn't really know how to make a trap. So, would I be able to survive? I give myself fifty-fifty chance. Well, that's good enough here, but I think I could survive because when I was growing up on a farm, 
I used to be attacked by chickens and sheep all the time, and I eventually figured out how they think and how to elude them. So I think people think the same way. So if somebody were trying to hunt me, I would know what to do. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program, and please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Roger. I am Kiki. See, See you, you next time. time.